you see and hear Harry Kane reflecting on that penalty miss. You really feel for him, don't you? And as elite athletes, you've all experienced highs and lows in your careers. When it comes to the lows, do they still haunt you? Yeah, they, they don't haunt you as such, but they're still there. And uh, you do have days when you think about them, especially when you're watching England. I missed the penalty myself in 2006, so I, I totally understand what Harry's been through. That's a fantastic interview, by the way. Real honesty from manager and captain, and that's the reason why we love their leadership. But without Harry Kane, we have to remember, we wouldn't have gone as far as we have in the previous two tournaments. Uh, we wouldn't change our number nine for anyone in the world. And um, he's the one who te takes responsibility, steps forward. And you can see at the back end of the interview, he can't wait to bounce back. And I'm sure he will, let's hope it's tonight. The lights have gone out, by the way, because we're about to experience what we've been told is going to be a spectacular light show. We look forward to that. And just going back to what we were saying then, Jill, even though it is a team sport, when you have those individual errors in a game, do you feel responsible? Yeah, you do. I remember 2017 quarter-final against France. We hadn't beaten them in 44 years, and I knew I was on a yellow card. Um, first minute of the game, I get another yellow, and I know I'm going to miss a semi-final. And it's really hard because you feel like you can't contribute in any way or help in any way. But I think, as Stephen says, it's about that bounce-back ability. And I hope Harry Kane breaks this record tonight because that'll be bounce-back ability at its finest. Yeah, I mean, you know, trying to be a professional footballer, you know, you're going for the glory, you're going for the moments, and your career will be littered with moments. We've all had them where things go wrong, and, they, and Stevie's right that you know, they do sometimes, they're not there in your everyday life, but you're at the pillow once a night, you think of a chance you missed or something that's happened, and it, it's, it's the price you pay for doing this great job that we get. You get the highs and you get the lows. But that interview was fantastic, and, and with Harry, what I saw there was the de determination to have a, a massive moment in England shirt that completely forgets all of their other moments. England now have an all-time leading goal scorer, a new one in Harry Kane with 54 goals. What a moment for him. Incredible moment, you know, ironic it coming in in the form of a penalty, but he deserves that. You can see in the pre-match interview, he was so determined to make up for that penalty miss in the summer, uh, sorry, in the winter. Yeah. Uh, but his all-round play has been fantastic. You know, he stands alone now on top of that charts. You know, the, the names that are underneath him, Wayne Rooney, Bobby Charlton, unbelievable names. He's fan fantastic for him. What a moment. You could see from the way his teammates celebrated with him as well, how special it was. Yeah, well, they've lived through it with him. Um, it's an incredible penalty, the precise. He loves taking the side netting off. He's one of the best penalty takers in the world. That's why it was such a surprise when, when it happened to him uh, in, in the World Cup. But you're talking about greatness. You're talking about one of the best number nines in the world right now. And um, that's the reason why every transfer window he's, he's ahead in terms of all the talks, because, you know, Maybe it is time, maybe it is time for them to move on. Well, Harry, an eventful night for England, but for you, huge congratulations. You've now done it. England's all-time record outright goal scorer. Just what does that mean to you? Yeah, it means everything, you know. Uh, yeah, we're so excited to put the England shirt back on and get back out here and get the campaign started for the, uh, for the Euros next year. And uh, yeah, it had to be a penalty, of course. And uh, no, it was just once it hit the back of the net, you know, so much emotion. and. Yeah, just huge thanks to all the players, all the staff, the fans, you know, my wife, my family back home, everyone who's helped me get to this stage. Just a magical moment. Just what was it like? You mentioned there the fact it was a penalty. What was the wait like? Because you had to wait for VAR as well. Yeah, I mean, pretty used to that now because, you know, a lot of the penalties in every game, you know, the VAR check it, so you have to wait a little bit. But, you know, I just do what I do. I practice, I work hard. Uh, worked hard in training yesterday, picked my spot, and thankfully... Uh, yeah, put it away, so, uh, and just a great night, you know, to, uh, we haven't won in Italy for so long, and yeah, to score and win this game is just special. Talk us through the emotion in your celebration as well, because we could see what it meant to your teammates too. Yeah, no, everyone, you know, uh, the World Cup was obviously a, uh, a difficult way to end, it was tough to, to finish in that way, but, you know, we spoke this week, uh, getting back to it, you know, we feel like we're one of the best teams in Europe, and we have to just keep knocking on the door, we're, we're getting close, but, you know, coming here and putting a performance like that today just shows we're ready for the next challenge. And, uh, yeah, we've got a difficult campaign ahead, but hopefully we can uh, get ready for, for next year. Wayne Rooney has tweeted, you've, of course, taken his record now. He's described you as a great man, an unbelievable goal scorer and an England legend. What does it mean to have overtaken him too? Yeah, no, big thanks. Uh, obviously, I was on the pitch when Wayne broke the record and, uh, you know, I know what it meant to, uh, to him and was so proud of him and... Uh, I remember when I presented him the, you know, the boot for breaking the record. He said, 
I'll be giving this back to you one day. And uh, yeah, just a special guy, you know, great England legend himself. So to hear that is fantastic. Harry, huge congratulations. Go in and check your phone because I imagine it's going mad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, well, that is so nice, isn't it? A great night for England and a special night for Harry Kane, Stephen. Yeah, very special for him and his family, especially, obviously, uh, the World Cup heartbreak. Uh, everyone was wounded because we know everything he does, he's a class act on and off the pitch. And um, we're so pleased for him tonight. He deserves all the plaudits that are going to come his way. But I think Wayne Rooney is the perfect man to sum it up, and he summed it up very well. Yeah, yeah, England, England legend. You know, you can see with Harry, he's always measured in his interviews, and he, you know, he said the right things. You know, it's a great win, it's a great night. But I think once he gets in the changing room and he realizes what he's done, it's a hell of an achievement. And 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 you couldn't have happened to a better man. He leads his team, leads the country, and we're all right behind him for the Euros. We've witnessed history tonight, Jill. Yeah, honestly, I feel just so honoured to be here, and it was such a special moment for Harry Kane. And speak about making memories, and he didn't deserve that moment against France, but he thoroughly deserved tonight because of his hard work he puts in every single day. So, yeah, I just feel honoured to be here tonight. 